Hi, we are Good Day Games. Welcome to our Dare to Be Digital Pitch video. We are a team of fourth year students comprising of two artists, two programmers and a sound designer. We come from Aberdeen University, the University of Dundee and the University of the West of Scotland. Our game is called Lapin and it will be developed for the iPad iOS platform. Lapin is set in a bright magical world where you play a short paw, the rabbit mage, conjuring magic to battle the villagers who have been possessed by evil wizardry. Using your two magical staffs, you charge to face the hordes of the possessed head on. Lapin is an endless runner game with a unique shooting system which adds a new exciting element to an already popular pick up and play genre. The game will be aimed at gamers looking to fill time on commutes and in between homework to gamers obsessed with scoring big and boasting about it on social networks. Due to potential cartoon violence, the game will be aimed at 9 plus on the App Store. Lapin features a unique weapon control system where the left weapon is controlled by one finger and the right weapon is controlled by another. Each weapon will have its own target area on screen, which when it overlaps with an enemy will begin firing. When these target areas are combined, you can have a more powerful stream of magic, which will be harder to maintain over time and will also give you a score multiplier. The weapons in this game will be upgradable and swappable, so you can have different combinations of weapons. Also, the appearance of the player will be upgradable and the colours of magic available as well. The enemies in the game will be procedurally generated and will vary in difficulty depending on how well you're playing in the game at the time. Lapin will be developed in Unity 3D alongside C Sharp. We chose this because Barney and I both have extensive experience in Unity 3 and apps. With the game being an infinite runner, procedural content generation is a must. And it just so happens that my focus in my honours year is procedural content generation, so I will be focusing on this in the game. Barney will be working in the control system as he has extensive experience with touch devices and a particular Apple product, and the overall gameplay will be split between us both. We believe that based on past experience, we can create the core game within two weeks, with the remaining weeks left for polish and more features such as the upgrades. We created a prototype in a short period of time to demonstrate how this will all work. The prototype features the character running, facing enemies that are coming over the hill and casting spells to vanquish these foes. We thought about the kind of audience we wanted to target and made decisions on the character style, user interface, game genre and platform based on what is previously successful amongst those audiences. We have decided that the game should be in 3D and have a bright, saturated colour palette and a whimsical, cute style because these types of games and styles are successful and appeal to the target demographic. Gary and I are also very proficient in working in 3D. We have previous experience modelling, texturing, rigging and animating. For the main character, we went for a rabbit in a rabbit themed world with giant carrots and green fields everywhere because we wanted the character to be appealing to everyone in the target demographic. The art style will be very simple. Everything will be exaggerated and infused with humour, bright colours and three tones only for base colour, highlights and shadows. This should allow us enough variation to make the character and environments visually appealing and cohesive, while at the same time keeping the modelling and texturing phases relatively simple. As sound designer, I'll be taking care of both audio composition and audio implementation for the project. For the audio composition, my main goal is to create a unique, fun, dynamic and quirky theme for the game using music and sound effects to enhance the player experience. The music score and sound effects will take influence from old PS1 classical platformer games such as Crash Bandicoot, Spyro the Dragon and the Rayman series. To compose the music score and sound effects to the game, I shall be using both Logic Pro 9 Studio and the complete 9 Ultimate Sound Library from Native Instruments, which gives me access to both orchestral and electronic instruments. As for the audio implementation, because the game is being made in the Unity game engine, I shall be using both the FMOT design tool and the Square Tangle plugin to act as both plugins for the Unity game engine and speeding up the post-production process for the music. With Lapin there are endless options to expand after there to keep the game fresh. We can introduce new enemies and new environments to battle in, new items and upgrades to help you in your quest, new costumes for your character, and also we have planned a reversal of the game where you play as the evil wizard possessing the villagers as a bonus level. We have outlined a development plan which includes all departments. On the run up to there this will be dissected further into individual departments with more detail and precise dates. Thanks for watching our video for Lapin. We've been good at games and we look forward to seeing you in our stages. Thanks.